Hey guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. I was scrolling on TikTok earlier today and I saw that CapCut came out with a desktop version of their editing software and I had to try this out because I know a lot of my UGC creator viewers, my influencer viewers, and just anyone who does short form video most likely will edit on CapCut. And you know, for a lot of people, they don't prefer to edit their videos on a mobile phone, but they like the desktop ability. So I think it's really cool that CapCut branched out into the desktop world. And I feel like it's gonna be a competitive to Final Cut Pro and iMovie. So I'm really interested to see what CapCut is like on the desktop. I personally have never edited on the mobile app before. So this is gonna be my first impressions of CapCut in general. I have a couple short form videos that I need to edit for my personal channel. So I am going to take you guys along on that, share my opinions and just edit with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this chill, but like first impressions type of video. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. Okay, so I have two videos that I want to edit today. One is just like a Sunday morning routine, morning in my life kind of video. And then it's also a video of me getting new AirPods. This was a whole spontaneous video. So I already imported the footage onto my computer. This is on my hard drive. I have my AirPods footage and then my Sunday morning routine footage. I'm gonna go ahead and open up CapCut. Oh my gosh, my name is Faith Elizabeth 420. I didn't put that in there. They did. Projects edited will be saved automatically. That's great because you don't have to like hit save on your project before you log off. And in case the app crashes, it will save all the work that you did. So that's awesome. Whoa, okay. We're starting. <laughs> there's a library. Oh, there's effects. Whoa. Again, I haven't edited using the mobile app, so I don't know what stuff is on the mobile app and what stuff is transferred over to the desktop, but this is really cool. So they already have, this is kind of giving very much iMovie with like the sound effects that come with it. I think it would be really cool if they really collaborated with TikTok to the point where it's like the trending audios are in the app. So you don't have to go looking for the audios on TikTok. You could just like link up your TikTok, have your favorite audios on there, or just trending audios that are currently trending. That would be really cool to have that kind of collaboration. Okay, so I'm gonna select all of my video and drag it down. Right here, you can do the orientation. I'm gonna just do uh, 9 by 16 because that's a vertical video. I really like the color correcting, like the way that's laid out. Honestly, I am not the best with color creation and stuff. I'm like, I just want to make the picture warmer or I just want to make the video brighter. So I like that it's not super advanced because Final Cut Pro can make it pretty advanced sometimes. Um, and then you can change the hue. Wait, wait a minute. I can change the color that's so cool. You can probably do this on Final Cut, but you can change the color of this this lip mask if I wanted to. Oh my gosh. If I had this when I was like 13 starting out on YouTube, I would be going even crazier with the edits. And I was already really crazy with the edits. The way that I edit on Final Cut, I use a lot of like shortcut keys on my keyboard. And B means blade, which means I can split a clip and I can delete um, part of the clip that I want split and I press B and there's a little blade, just like on Final Cut, so I'm right at home. I'm just making super quick cuts on all of these. So what's really cool is if I wanna speed a clip up, I can go 2X or I can put in the duration I want the clip to be. I was really rushing filming this because not all the angles really look that good. Like what, okay, what kind of footage is this, you guys? I think I tried filming me putting on the lip mask and then just completely gave up. Okay, so off to a great start with this video. I'm gonna do like a little editing trick right here. So recently one of my little things that I do in my reels is I kind of like slow down clips sometimes when I'm doing some fast moves. So when I lift up this water bottle, I kind of do it a little bit fast, but I want that animation to be a little slow. Let's split it when I start to move the water bottle up. Let's slow it down a little bit. 
Okay. See how it slows down like for a quick second? How about what we do for this is with this honey shot, let's slow it down, but also like Ken burns it to zoom in. Ken burns, so we're gonna add a keyframe. We're gonna go all the way towards the end of the clip. Go back a little bit. And we're gonna scale this to how we want the clip to end, like how zoomed in. So I'm just gonna zoom in that much. That blue little rumbus diamond looking thing means that's a keyframe. So let's go back and see what it looks like. I like it. I really like it. We chopped that down to 12 seconds. I'm satisfied with that. Let's export. So up here, there's a little export button. Put that way, format, frame rate, no cover added. Remove watermark. Okay, yeah, we don't want that. So remove that as a little thing right here. Shouldn't really take that much time at all. Maybe less than a minute. So let's just see how long it takes. So it's been a minute already. We're at 35%. Usually my editing software would get it done in like maybe 30 seconds. Like it's just so quick. It's a short form video. Like it's literally a 12 second long clip. Once this is exported, I'm gonna watch the video and see if the quality is like still good. But yeah, this is a little bit long. That's one of the downsides so far. It's just that this is taking a while to export. Wow. Okay, so that took like four minutes to export. A 12 second video no effects, no text, just cuts, even a muted video. Okay, so it didn't really lose any quality when exporting, which is pretty cool. So, but man, four minutes for that. Mm -mm -mm. If you are editing on your desktop, does it automatically sync up with the mobile version? That's a good question and good thing to figure out. Okay, so that's another downside that I have to this is when I import my clips on Final Cut Pro, I can edit the clips while it's importing. For this, I'll have to wait for it to fully import before I go ahead and get started uh, with editing, which is a little bit of a downside, especially if I'm editing longer form videos or longer clips because I'll just have to sit there and wait before I start editing. Versus Final Cut Pro, I can just go ahead and get right on into it. But I do like that this imported in sync with the time. For these clips, I imported them on my computer in a weird different order. So they weren't in sync with like the actual time. When I imported it, it did stay in sync, which I really like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. New audio. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this really quick. I'll come back and what I wanna try out is the different texts and transitions. I'm not gonna post the TikTok with that text and transitions because I already have a specific like theme I have when I post, but we're just gonna try this out for fun. So I'm gonna edit this really quick and I'll be right back. It's been like 10 minutes and I edited my AirPods video. This is a seven second video. Just me going into the Apple store, getting my AirPods very spontaneously. Really like it, but let's go ahead and play around with it and add some text. Okay, so there's a default text button. I'm just gonna go ahead and see what that's like. The text is on top of the clip. That's usual. You can change up the font style, the font size, uh, spacing, all those things, pretty basic, but let's go ahead and write POV spontaneous trip to the Apple store. Okay, that's cute. We can make this bold if we want to. There's all these different like free fonts, which is really cool. Oh, you can do animation if you want to. What's that mean? Whoa, make it really wavy. Oh, that's like back in the like 2018 2019 YouTube days or the wave. Oh, that's more like the the editing style. We're just gonna we're gonna go with that. So throughout the whole video, it's just the text is gonna be very wavy. I like it. Okay, so let's do a transition somewhere. Maybe let's do a transition from outside the Apple Store to inside the Apple Store. So let's go to transitions. There's a lot of them. Wow. Ooh, I like that one. Let's go. And then let's do another transition when we leave the store. What's what's social media? Oh, we 
wait, there's like that, that wavy effect that like the YouTubers, the beauty YouTubers back in the day would do. Why is it not popping up? Do you guys see this? Like the swirly, like white transitions where it's like splatter or like a wave or like a curl. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, I kind of like that filter. Okay, so you can put a filter on top of these so you can edit what when you want the filter on which clip, which is really cool. I like this. I really like this video. Surprise, I'm just like doing it for fun. Okay, stickers. What do you do with the stickers? So I can add the little sticker right here at the end of my video when I have the AirPods and I'm leaving. That's so cute. Okay, so here is my final video. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, let's add music. Why don't we add music? I like that. Okay. And then... Oh, so it kind of goes with the beat. See, see what I'm saying? Like, I just like cut the clips really fast and then it just somehow flows well with the beat. I like it. We have music, we have transitions, we have a filter, we have text, we have stickers. Let's see how long it will take to export this seven second video. Okay, it exported, it took approximately Three minutes to export. Again, not impressed with that. Let me see what the quality looks like. Okay, the quality still looks really good, which I like. But again, three minutes for a seven second video. I can only imagine editing a YouTube video off of CapCut, especially if you're including like text and transitions. I feel like that would be like a whole nightmare. But comment below if you guys use CapCut on mobile. Does this take forever to export on mobile too? Or is this just desktop and it might change over time with new updates? So my final impression of CapCut, honestly, I think it's great for someone who is just getting started in filming TikToks, Reels, or any kind of short form videos. I think there are a lot of texts and effects and transitions and audios that you could use when you're just getting started. I would give the CapCut desktop probably like a solid 6.8, 7 out of 10. The downsides is the import and export times. It's a very slow, but it gets some bonus points because it is super easy to edit and to navigate. There's a lot of different features on there with the effects and audio and text. That's super accessible, especially for someone who's a beginner. So I recommend it in that sense. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Comment down below if you're looking to try out CapCut for desktop. And if you have tried it out, let me know how you guys like it. Let's we'll start a conversation in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my socials linked down below. With that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye!